Last week I, uh, I bought some ice pods, just some orange flavours, from a company called Bugs in the House on eBay, of all places. And uh, as you can see, these guys are thriving, there's no problem with them. So I thought, why not up the ante instead of doing orange flavours and go a little bit higher and see what happens. So I got some. Maculatum. I hope these are great because I was very happy with those guys. They came packed really well. I love this. These little boxes because there's no chance of missing Mr. Postman. And he can just stick it to a letterbox, which is awesome. Let's have a look. These are done in exactly the same way. These are awesome as well, these little, I don't know what they are, eh? Makeup things. There we go, 10 plus zebras. So, let's have a look at these. There's only 10, so I'm gonna put these guys in one of these as well for now. Until hopefully they breed. So let's check these chaps out and see. Wow, so they take them up. Yep. Oh wow, yeah. Well, I can tell you one thing. Definitely not dead. So, I'm gonna show you these better with the lens. Well, as you can probably see, these guys are definitely fine. And they're so cute. In fact, look at this guy, he's, he's running off the, he's a scarpe. Hey? There's gotta be a way out. Look, here's something. Escape. I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word escape. I think there's actually more than 10 here, but that's what I bought was 10. So might be a couple more. Either way, they're, they're wonderful. They look very healthy and certainly inquisitive. So yeah, uh, these are the guys. Bugs in the house which is pretty awesome so far. And we've tried Cheapo Orange Lavis and uh, and now we've gone a little bit more expensive with the Maculatum and they're now running across the table because these are really active, which is fantastic. There you go, man. There you go. Look that. that was a good advert, that, isn't it? There you go. And uh, I intend to uh, get some more different ones, but we'll come to that in a second. How super cute are those? These, these are an awesome species, and I'm going to be housing them shortly. Um, they're super, super active for Amadalidium. And what's that? Oh, you said like and subscribe to this channel. That'd be also great. Now, what I'm going to be doing is actually making a little... I'm going to call it an enclosure, but it's not really. It's just a box for now because there's only 10 of them or so. Um, and we, we're going to make a little box for them. Show you quickly how I do. This is the uh, box I'm going to use, which is a sandwich box from Morrison's. This is, a, this is a bit smaller than the other ones, but there's only 10. It's a bit deeper as well, though. And uh, I'll be housed them when I get another one of the other ones. I haven't got any of the large ones. I will be putting holes in here, this handy little indent. I normally drill some holes in here for ventilation. Um, I might actually cut them out and put, uh, I've got ventilators in there, so I might, I might use those for, for these guys. Right, it was either this or it was an option of a goldfish bowl, because these guys uh, seem to like to be out, so we'll have to see. But what I've got, is my substrate, which is predominantly moss and leaf litter and calcium. That's what the, the white coring is. So I'm just going to stick a bit of this in here. As I say, I'm going to call this temporary for now. Right, I'm going to be putting some leaf litter in here as well. So I'm going to just not pack it down. I'm just going to level it out a bit. 
and I'm going to need a bit of back for these guys. It's a nice dry piece of back. This is this is actually off a oak tree, a fallen oak tree. So I've just stripped the bark off it. Now I'm going to stick some, uh, some moss in you. I have no idea what I did with my sphagnum moss. I'm going to be nicking sphagnum moss out of another box that I have here that was actually growing moss in. I'm just going to stick moss in this side, a bit of sphagnum here in this side. There you go. So we've got one side sphagnum. This is wet, by the way, it's not damp. And uh, One side, sphagnum there, which is damp. This is, this is meh, sort of damp. I'm just going to bridge this, this back, so they can go over to the damp side or the dry side. Give it a quick spray. I do believe that that's a sling pot that just went walky, so I don't know where it went. But anyway. Uh, and now I'm going to throw some of these springtails in. Ah, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. There's a few in there. I thought I'd use all these, but there's quite a few in here. Have that one as well. Okay, I see quite a lot in there. There's a lot more than I thought. There, I see column bowler. So I do like to use candida, but I haven't. Uh, I haven't bothered. I've been feeding them to the uh, tiny mantis. From a video I made yesterday. Yep, there's hundreds in there, so I'll just break that up. I don't like cork back for these because they do like eating the back, and I've got some more there, so I will be putting in and some leaf litter. Um, I think what we'll do is before we even put them guys in, is I'm going to put some of these in. And this is just fish flakes. That's more than anything to feed the uh, springtails. Or anything else. And now, let's take our zebras and introduce them to a new house. I'm going to be putting this moss in as well. Okay. How do we get the top off? There we go. Yeah, there's loads of them there. It's super cute. Let's see how many there is. One. Come on, dude. Two. Three. <laughs> Four. <clears throat> Five. Come on, mate. These aren't like the hollow ones, they're actually six. Actually going on my finger there seem to be liking it. Oh yeah look seven you fell off. Let's put this moss in as well. There's number eight. He's okay, isn't he? Yeah. Eight. There's nine. And there's 10. Oh, I see 11 there. Yep, there we go. So, on there. 11. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, I've got 11 of them. So, let's put all this in here. Might as well add it. That's when they had it before. And, uh, come on, turn around, guy. And that is enough. Basically, all I need to do now is stick some holes in the top here, and uh, this should be great. 
And that's about it really. Let's have a look at them. Well, that's about it for this video, but bugs in the house. So far, so good. Two lots of ice pods, both been great, both delivered one day or two days, I think it was for this one. Uh, and they've all turned up, they're all alive, they're all happy, they're all well, they're packed well. Um, so yeah, I'll put the links in the description below. Well worth checking out. Uh, they included the postage in the price which I always think is a bonus. So, well worth checking out. I, I'd go and, uh, go and have a look at them. And I'd like to leave it up to you to decide what species I get next from an eBay seller. So, nothing too ridiculously expensive. I'm not gonna buy 10 rubber duckies or any kind of Thailand spikies. So, remember, stick some up down below in the comments and uh, let me know what you think I should get next and who I should test out on eBay. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.